Hi, one of my friends showed me a recipe from a newspaper in Indonesia last week about how to make a pandan leaf wrapped chicken. So he thought that I probably wanted to try to make this. So this is a Thai dish. I looked at the recipe. I actually have all the ingredients. There are few ingredients that you may not find it uh, at the regular grocery stores. There are pandan leaf because this dish is called pandan leaf wrapped chicken. Of course, you need pandan leaf, right? I found this pandan leaf from an Asian grocery store in Chicago. Uh, it said it here, it's frozen pandan leaf because uh, we don't have the fresh one. I don't think we grow pandan leaf here. So these are imported from Thailand. So these pandan leaves are frozen. So I need to rinse and dry these leaves. The other things are the turmeric root that uh, you still probably can find it in uh, garden fresh. Or if you cannot find the root, you can definitely use turmeric powder. And also lemongrass. I think you can find this one also at some grocery store like Garden Fresh. But today I'm going to use the one, the top one already. I went to the Vietnamese grocery store and then they had this uh, chopped uh, frozen lemongrass. So uh, this will make it easier for me. Besides those things, we will also need garlic and shallot. Garlic you may find everywhere. Uh, shallot, you also can find it at regular gro uh, grocery stores. This is uh, like a small red onion. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is to cut my chicken into smaller chunks, okay? To uh, know how many pandan leaves I will need. Okay, so one piece of chicken will need one pandan leaf to wrap. So I'm using uh, chicken thighs here. I will see how many uh, pieces, small pieces I can make from uh, this one pack. One pack has six chicken thighs. But before I cut my chicken thighs, then I'm gonna just uh, work on the paste, okay? I'm using uh, this many of garlic here, four or five uh, cloves. Uh, one of them is very small, so. I'm going to use my mortar and pestle. You can use your food processor, okay? So just peel. I'm going to just pound the garlic and take out the peel. And also my uh, shallots. I'm going to use uh, two big shallots here. So if you're using the small one, you may want to use uh, four or five shallots. All right, so now the turmeric root. Like I said, if you do not have the turmeric root, just use turmeric powder and then you do not have to pound it. You add it with the um, other spices later, okay? This uh, turmeric root uh, was frozen originally. Okay, now I just need to add a little bit of salt to grind together with the uh, this the rest with the onion and uh, garlic and turmeric okay and then pound them or mask them together and it looks like this all right So before I uh, transfer this uh, paste into the bowl, I'm now going to cut my chicken. The reason why I make the paste first because if I use my cutting board to cut the chicken first, then my cutting board is going to be slimy. <laughs> I just want to use one cutting board. <laughs> You're using uh, thigh because the meat are uh, tender and more juicy, uh, but you will need to trim the fat. 
not all of them but you know there's some fat that uh, excessive fat here that uh, looks gross okay so we do not want to cut it too small here okay so what i'm gonna do because you know the pandan leaf the the uh the width of pandan leaf is like this small or this big so you do not want the chicken is too big right because you want to wrap so i'm gonna cut the chicken to be this size okay so more like one uh chicken thigh will make six chunks okay. so cut one uh, chicken thighs to be six pieces Alright, so I have 36 uh, chunks here. Now I'm going to put my paste into the bowl with the chicken. Okay. And then the lemongrass. So if you're using the lemongrass root, you want to pound the lemongrass uh, using two stalks and uh, cut, uh, slice, slice it thinly, and then you want to pound it together with the garlic and onions, okay, earlier, all right? But because I'm using the, the chopped one already, I'm going to just add in into uh, the bowl. So I'm supposed to use two uh, stalks and only using the white part. So I'm gonna just add two a tablespoon here. Okay, and then uh, sugar like one teaspoon. And then pepper, white pepper, also uh, one teaspoon. coriander coriander powder here okay or ground coriander i'm gonna use also one teaspoon and then i'm gonna use two tablespoon all right and then one tablespoon of sesame oil and that's all except for one more thing i'm gonna add is coconut milk or coconut cream okay this one is uh one small can has 165 milliliter if you're using the big can then you can use half okay because this is the small one has 165 so this is all i'm gonna use Now, I will just uh, stir it or mix together. All right, so that's it. Uh, now, I just need to put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour before I uh, wrap with the pandan leaves, okay? Make sure all the chicken pieces are coated. Mm, smells so good. Okay. It is pretty easy to make. Just need to have the ingredients ready. So go into the refrigerator. Okay, so now all I need is to uh, prepare my pandan leaves. Okay, let me count how many pandan leaves I have. So I will need one leaf for one piece of one chunk of chicken but try to uh, use the one that's not broken you know like this is kind of broken so i'm probably not gonna use that one uh i will need 36 of leaves okay 
So many of these are broken. Now let me open the new one here. Okay, so these are uh, nice looking. Okay, get the long one. So like this. Okay, we want to use the one that uh, unbroken or not ripped. Like this and long. Okay, nice and long. I'm going to choose uh, 36 of the nice looking pandan leaf. Okay, so I have chosen 36 of uh, pandan leaves here. Okay, all I'm going to do now is to rinse and then uh, dry these leaves. All right, so uh, it is like two hours already since I put my chicken in the refrigerator. So now I'm going to wrap with the uh, pandan leaves, okay? I also have this uh, toothpick uh, to close the, or to lock the leaf, okay? All right, so... We're not gonna eat the leaf. We only wanna get the flavor and the fragrance from the pandan. So we just uh, do this until uh, the chicken is all gone. So this time I'm gonna try to wrap it from the bottom. Let me see how it is. You can do it this way too. Okay, whatever is easier for you, uh, you can uh, wrap it. Start from the middle, or from the uh, the end. Okay. All right. This one I wrap it starting. Uh, from the end. So I'm going to do it again. Just make sure you wrap uh, all side. Okay, if there is some uh, pieces showing if it's small small uh, part is fine okay so i am done uh, wrapping all the chicken uh, chunks with uh, pandan leaves either you can just fry uh, them right away or you can uh, put them back into the refrigerator until it's time for you to fry, okay? Right now, I'm gonna just put them back into the refrigerator and uh, fry uh, later, like uh, around an hour, okay? So now I am going to deep fry my pandan wrapped chicken, okay? I'm going to use canola oil. You can use whatever oil vegetable oil or other oil that doesn't have taste okay so now my oil is hot already I'm gonna turn down the heat to medium so I'm gonna just put uh, six at a time
So I want to cook this uh, bread uh, until uh, it changes color. All right. So now I'm gonna turn over. You see the this side is already brown. Okay. So three minutes on each side just to make sure the chicken inside is cooked. We don't care about the leaf, okay? Because we're not going to eat the leaf, only the chicken. Okay, now I change the heat to medium high. So I'm gonna check my chicken inside to make sure it is cooked. So it is like a hundred, whoa, it's 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So they are cooked for sure. Okay, so I don't need to worry that my chickens are not cooked, all right? Uh, cooking three minutes on each side is good. Just wanna make sure that the uh, we got the flavor from the pandan into the chicken. Okay, infuse the flavor. All right, so it's done. Look at this uh, color of the pandan leaves. They are also uh, brown now, so it's totally done. I'm gonna transfer this wrap uh to the plate okay now i just need to fry all of them all right until all the chickens are done All right. So I'm done frying my uh, pandan leaf wrapped chicken here. Uh, you do not want to eat the leaf or the toothpick, okay? <laughs> you only eat the chicken. So uh, I marinated the chicken with uh, many spices, including coconut milk. So this chicken is very tasty. Uh, you do not need dipping sauce. So I'm going to try. So you just need to, uh, you see, uh, take off the toothpick and unwrap the pandan leaf. Alright, so let's try the uh, pandan wrap chicken here. Mm. The chicken is so juicy because um, it was wrapped in the leaf, so the juice uh, got trapped inside of the uh, leaf, okay? So the chicken itself is very juicy and uh, it is very tasty. Mm. I can taste all the spices that I um, put when I marinated it. It's very, very yummy. You definitely do not need dipping sauce for this, uh, for this chicken, okay? Just eat it with uh, rice, with jasmine rice. It's so tasty and so yummy. And it's not uh, too difficult to make, right? You just need to find the pandan leaf. And, uh, wrap the chicken that's the only thing that uh, take a little more time but um, it's really uh, rewarding you should try making it it's so good <laughs> oh my god it's so good <laughs> just want more <laughs> you taste everything in the chicken do you taste the pandan some pandan flavor Taste everything. Yeah. Mmm, so good. You like don't the need, veggie too. Yeah, you don't need the uh, sauce, right, for that. No. <laughs> so good. <laughs>